Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create chips in Android Studio. So this is not a eating chips. We are going to create some different thing in Android and you maybe see these things in a lots of application, but you maybe don't know the name of this thing or we can say the name of this component. So I will show you a demo what we are actually going to create in this video. Suppose this, I have to open my phone. So I open this application, which we are going to create. So you can see this is the chip we can say this is the chips in Android Studio. So we are going to create these things. So you may be this thing in filter option whenever you are trying to apply filter in a, any application like LinkedIn, Paytm or any anywhere. So we are going to create the exact same thing. So you can write the XML code for this. You can also create it dynamically. It is totally depend on you. So and if you click on this thing, you can see this is the selected chip. So I is able to select this and and the above one is a filter chip. So if I if you want to um, give a filter option in your application, then you can use this. And if you want to user can remove that one of the particular filter, then you can use this cross option. So if I click on cross, you can see now it is not visible. So we are going to learn how to implement this and uh, what are the more possible ways and uh, what are the types of these chips and uh, what are the type way of the customization for these things. So we are almost going to explore everything about chips in Android. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video. And if you don't like the video now, then please like the video. And if you don't subscribe the channel then now, then please subscribe the channel. So now let's start the video. So for this, first of all, open your NS studio. So now click on file and then click on new and then new project. And from here, select empty activity. And next you can implement an existing project. It is your choice. So I'm just giving a chip tutorial and click on finish. So one more thing I want to say this, the chips is the part of the material component so you can see in on the website of material components you can see this is the chips are present here and it contain lots of type like uh, input chips and filter type and this is the action chips uh, choices chips so you can create whatever you want it is totally depend on you and it also contain the coding part so you can easily write the code for this so inside the implementation you can see the code so i will recommend you must visit this website and if you want to create one more better chips than this then you can also use material 3 so material 3 also available here and you can also create this kind of chips in Android with the hour effect and lots of other thing as well so now let's start the video see the basic implementation how we are going to integrate this so for this you can see our project is created successfully and now come inside our XML and click on split so first of all I didn't don't need this text view I need just here relatively out here or not a relative layout I'm going to use a linear layout now after this I am just setting here gravity center and orientation of this vertical now I need to some import some vector asset inside my drawable so I am copying vector asset from my previous project but this vector asset are present inside your render studio so you can directly import the import them so paste them here so you can see this is the cancel this is the check and you can use any vector asset it is your totally depend on you so now let's see how to create a particular chip in Android. So we are going to create two types of chip. One is a just with a remove button or we can say we can use that chip for a filter option. And second one is a selected chip. So we can if we want to select a particular thing and we want to give an option to the user to select a particular thing that kind of chip. So first of all, take an open bracket type here chip. When you type here chip, you can see it is showing here chip and chip group. What is the chip group? Chip group contain whenever you want to create a lots of chips. Let us suppose seven or eight chips so it is better to add these add them in a chip group this is same thing like a radio button and radio group so i add a chip here you can set the rep content rep content and now it is better to give an id to use in a java file so chip i give this id name then after this i am i don't want to use this as a checkable because it is a filter option so i am just passing a checkable false and i want to remove this if someone click on cross icon now first of all I want to set something on my chip so you can set any text it is your choice I am just typing here portlet but you can set anything now if you want to give a starting icon in your chip then you need to use here chip icon and I am just going to use location icon but you can use any icon and so after this we need to give here mention here close icon so if you want to give a close option or remove option in your filter so you, you need to pass here close icon and you can use any icon it is your choice so i am just using here cancel but you can use any and after this we need to 
you can also set the eye content so let us suppose i am setting the eye content of chip icon but you can set you can almost change uh, customize anything inside this it contains lots of properties so i'm just going to use a black here and then close this so you can see this chip is created successfully but it is not showing the close icon because we need to mention the style as well for this so just type a style and this inside this we need to pass here chip entry something like this so you can see now it is also visible here so this one chip is created successfully now let's create a second chip which is the selected option so for this i'm just copying this and paste this here this is the chip too so i just change the id name here and now i'm just changing it to text so this is a selected chip you can give any name and inside this we need to pass here we can remove this we need we don't need this and we don't need a here chip icon we only need this icon when someone select on this and we also don't need here close icon and chip icon did we don't need this as well so inside this it, this is the checkable we we can also click on this so that's why we need to pass here checkable true and inside this after click on this and we need to check an icon we need to pass the checked icon so you can use any icon i am going to use this check so if someone click on this we need going to use this imply this icon now the xml code is finished now let's come on to our java code see how to write this so for this first of all we need to declare xml id to java ids so chip and i have a two chip chip one and chip two then after this we have a chip one equal find me by id r dot id dot chip one this is a chip one and the chip two equal find me by id r dot id dot chip two so it is showing error let me show what is the problem so this is the chip and this is the chip two i give the wrong name here so this is done now we need to set an on click listener according to different components on these things so let's see how to set on click listener on a, every separate component of this so first of all if someone click on chip chip one then what we need to perform we need we have a close button on our first chip so you can see in our first chip what we have we have a close button so if on, someone we, this is not a clickable this is just a if someone click on this close button then we, we need to remove this so i am just going to remove the set visibility gone so you need to just type a chip one dot set on close so when you type this you can see and everything is available in documentation so you can easily understand why i am typing this and then new capital one press enter and inside this i can perform whatever i want so i am just going to remove this chip one chip one dot set visibility gone so this is first chip two then what we need we need to show the selected option and we need to change the background color of this thing so chip two dot set on cl click listener and then new capital o and press enter so when you click on this so it will automatically going to add this in checkable icon on this chip so we don't need to worry this so we just need to change the background color to show whether it is a selected or not so for this that's why so we can just type here chip two dot set check we need to pass this check set check true and it automatically add this check icon and then we need to change just a background color so chip two dot set chip background color and we are going to use the color from our colors file so color state list dot value of and inside this we need to pass here the color code so get resources dot get color r dot color dot purple 200 500 whatever you want to use so you can see now the project is finished so now let's run our application and see whether it is working or not so i press on run button and it will start building so gradle build successful it will going to install the application inside our phone and now you can see application installed successfully so if i click on first close icon so you can see it is gone so it is in, it is working fine and if i click on selected chip so you can see i get the checked icon and it is i change the background color so this is also work fine so i hope guys you learned something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe to the channel please share the channel so if you don't like the video till now then please like the video so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you